Fisher, welcome back to the front. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be your last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce D.P. Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. This situation is delicate and largely unknown, so walk softly. Grimm's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all costs. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. Be careful, Fisher. Your use of stealth is crucial to this operation. I've got a man in my way, Lambert. The flash notes confirmed there was a hostage situation. Indonesian militants. Yeah, but the hostages are somebody else's game. You're here for information, Hello? and especially the information Hello? held by Douglas. Shetland's your objective. We need to know how much data was lost. Talk, damn you! Where is it? That footstep? Freeze, Fisher. Douglas. Fisher? You still in one piece? Where are the rest of the seals? I'm working alone. Then who you with? Thank God. I'll keep guessing. I, no. Stay. Uh huh. Me Thanks. How Just wash your hands. It was PGP encrypted. Easy stuff. For all the good it did us, the body text is gibberish. Brunton thinks it's a regional Indonesian dialect. We're looking for a translator. But we got the sender's alias, Mortified Penguin. And four words in the body text, Redbeard, Saulnier, and Springfield. My CIA people came through for us. The dialect is Timorese Mambe. There's an agent... Chances are. Security camera tap shows a lone guard overlooking the next courtyard wearing night vision goggles. There's an automated searchlight they haven't shut down. Should be blinding through night goggles. You're telling me to stay in the light? I said you wouldn't like it. Ingrid. You must be my It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. Word crunching's what I- Nice PDA. Can you read it? It's phonetical mamba. Your guess is as good as- Would you stay if I said- No. Well done, Fisher. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. Welcome to Paris. You'll have time for sightseeing later. Thanks. But we don't know why, what he wants, or who he is. Is he still inside? 
Hard to say. The man's cover is rock solid. Are you saying he's CIA? If he is, he's under deeper cover than I've ever seen. We've got intel linking him to at least a dozen. Good, you're in. Grimm's daughter suggests first accessing the security terminal on your floor, so she can investigate network activity in the complex. She can't do it remotely. No, the important files are off the grid. His case file says the founder was worried about the government stealing his client's files when the apocalypse rolls around. Paranoia-based security. That's our mantra. Security stage decreased. Security stage back to normal. Okay, it seems they've gone back to normal. Confirmed. The basement is clear. I'm in. Great work, Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Let's see. Mortified Penguin cracked their system directories. Looks like all of his attention was focused on the client databases. Meaning, he was looking for specific frozen dead men. What do the client databases say? Nothing from here. It's a separate network. Oh my god. What? What? The, the mercy. Where is it? The signal is coming from the boiler room, further down the corridor. <laughs> operation. Security stage increased. Stage two. Helmet on. Alarm stage two. Fisher, if you remain a ghost, the alarm stage will decrease. Fisher, we cannot afford any more casualties. One more alarm and the mission is over. I'm inside the client storage database. I'm tapped. Taking a look, see? I see at least eight clients mortified penguin pulled up in detail. Anything in common? All frozen in the last six months, and all cheapskates. They all booked economy tickets to the future, just their brains frozen. The low-end storage device is called an MD-133, vacuum-powered refrigeration. So that's what happened to them. Mortified dumped the clients and took the MD-133. I guess we can assume he's not CIA, if he's willing to murder. Murder frozen organs. You can't murder the dead. Who is Semantics. I think we've got a way to ID the penguin. The security guard... Processing? Where they pull the brains out of the skull. Introduce yourself to Mr. Kodobov. And get that phone. Security stage decreased. Security stage back to normal. Okay, it seems they've gone back to normal. Don't hurt me, please. I'm just doing... I'm not here to add to your... Tr no. I'm... I'm from the phone company. What? I'm gonna need to... I... I'm very... Give me the phone, Francis. for you. 
Found the credit cards our man Poindexter, a.k.a. Soth, used to buy the train there. tickets. What's the complication? Two seats in coach. Lo looks like... But you're dealing with tight quarters. I wouldn't risk anything lethal. You don't have the room to maneuver if there are complications. Brunton's chums in the CIA came through for us. Soth's right leg is more prosthetics in it than Lee Majors. Apparently, he had a disagreement with a landmine. Wait. First, I'm your Uncle Sam. How do I trust you? Your name's Norman. Okay, fine. What to make your Sedonos? It's an agency job. Who's your runner? Clifton Finch. What about the cryogenics? Sir? What? Yep. Stay. Sorry if I will. Is it? We put. Good. Let's go. He was lying about his handler, wasn't he? Yeah. Finch has been on sick leave for 16 months. Hack the laptop now. And trail Soth. Laser mic that call. We still can't risk blowing Soth's cover. Fisher, we need that phone call. Dime to a dollar, he's talking to Sedono. This looks like a touchy mission. Brunton is coordinating with local intelligence. Mossad? Even better. Shin Bet. Spooky. Who are we torturing? Just you. First thing you're going to need is to retrieve your SC-20K. Wouldn't it make more sense just to give it to me? We have to barrel alter to reduce sonic placement. Only one man yeah. with those skills in the area. An old arms dealer slash CIA plant working out of the back of a small shop. He'll be waiting for you. Details on your op side. Choice. We need to have them dead. You saw Berkowitz. <sighs> Who were they? Thieves. You've got something for them. Yes. Objective is named Dahlia Tal. Brunton? Ms. Dahlia Tal. She's a Shinbet agent in deep cover with local terrorist cells. She's our link to Norman Soth's terrorist connections. One of the choice nuggets of intel we pulled off Soth's laptop. Find Dahlia. She'll lead you to the mercenaries. What is that? Who are you supposed to be? Who is that?
Is there a special hour? Only in the morning. You're American. I'm friendly and looking... I feel you wouldn't be asking him. What was he doing in Jerusalem? Buying a weapon. Details, details. I don't know any. What was the deal? Your friend got the biological... Where are the Syrians? I'll take you to the device. going on. Ready? We're starting. You want to come inside? Not on your life. Tell me what I just did, Lambert. The right thing. 
Hard work, but it had to happen. Shin Bet wasn't playing a straight game. Killing unarmed women seems mighty close to terrorism. Shut up, Fisher. Leave the ethics to us. Brunton, sign off. We need to talk. Get the sample as soon as possible. You're in a fifth freedom situation. All means are acceptable. This is going to be a complicated mission, Fisher. We're running it in cooperation with Displace International, so your old friend Douglas Shetland will be local. Good. I can work with Shetland. What's Shetland doing here? A ghost army operation. He'll give you the brief. One, Sam, don't be detected. Fisher, you're taking unnecessary risks when you don't hide the bodies.
does it go? Real. On. Product. Hmm. I'll. Good. What? Got a heads up for you from Grimm. We're going to be losing touch in a second. There must be copper coils or some kind of grid ahead of you. The refinery proper is a dead signal hole. Good luck with your airplane pilot. We're going to be out of contact as long as you're underground. I'll try not to get too lonely. Welcome back to Fresh Air. Do you have the name? Fisher. Go tap that phone. We'll talk about the names later. Security stage increased. Stage one. Black jackets on. Alarm stage one. Sam, don't be detected. Fisher, you are paid to be invisible. Be careful. The access to the house isn't as easy as it seems. You should wait for... Seems they've gone back to normal. Code is 0526 5173 337 3889. It's me. Fisher, freeze! Don't make a move. Shetland will take you out of there. You're just about in position. Movement! I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's not another bird, has? It's alright. I'll take a look. stage will decrease. Fisher, you're taking unnecessary risks when you don't hide the bodies. GPS shows you're a stone's throw from the control room. Walk softly and use that technician. If you raise the sub yourself, you're gonna bring up a lot of Dara Dandoa who won't be happy to see you. You're underestimating my charm. Who's there? Security stage decreased. Security stage back to normal. Okay, it seems they've gone back to normal. Oh my god, they...
Garrett, what's going on? We weren't supposed to surface for another four hours. Garrett, are you there? Answer me if you're there. Otherwise, I'm pulling the alarm. Tell him we're kosher. What? Tell him nothing's wrong. Okay. There's no problem. I had a warning light flash on the ballast tanks. I'll put you back under as soon as they're fixed. Copy that. Thanks. Grim's daughter's got her hands on Komodo's security personnel protocols. Inside that submarine, you're going to be outmanned and outgunned. That's everywhere I go. Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Just need to find the terminal's ID number. There. Looks like we've got five subscribers. Satellite phones. U.S. numbers? Yeah. Echelon's linking them to a private military corporation. Something called Displace. We'll run a cross-check on their recent contracts. Five PMCs line up pretty nicely with our five pox boxes. What's my part? Amityville time. Get out. If we got the pox boxes, then there's nothing stopping us. The Joint Chiefs will want to move fast. Rendezvous with Cohen. It's about time you introduced yourself to Sagano. You need to infiltrate the TV station. Station first. This is where Ingrid and Sedano are. What is that? Help! I'm in danger! Please! Please! Help! I'm in danger! Please! Please help! It's here. Go ahead. Then Yuck says your boys aren't wearing their heads here. That's right, sir. Night vision's not safe with the lightning. The flash-blinded snipers would be useless to you. So how are we covering the parking lot? We've got extra men down there. It should be fine. Cohen was right to mistrust Miss Carlson. There's a reason for that wolf smell under the wool. She's an honest-to-God agent. A lot more than that hapless desk jockey she was playing. That makes sense if a bit far-fetched that she just happened to be in the right place to luck her way into being one of Sidon's hostages. She was at the embassy looking for Saul. The agency needed to know whether or not he was still a viable asset. I guess they got their answer. And now you need to find Carlson. Sedono's keeping her around as a translator and bargaining chip, but she can move through the station with relative freedom. We're hoping she can quietly get you close enough to Sedono to grab him alive. Sedono needs to be caught by surprise. 
Security stage increased. Stage one. Flak jackets on. Alarm stage one. Fisher, you are a p Hello, Ingrid. You? You knew somebody was coming? I've managed a few brief... Can you do that? Yeah. There's a... You made yourself friendly for... Sure, Sedano's a... Ingrid's a godsend. I keep pinching myself. Play along. Trail her to the warehouse. It's our best and only way to get at Sedano. Blood left, I'm sure I'd be blushing. Is Ingrid in position on the roof? That's right. And the helicopter, too. Keep Sedano conscious until you've made visual contact with Carlson. Can I get a confirmation, Fisher? Sedano's alive and you've got him? Yes. Fantastic. Don't worry about leaving a mess behind you on your way out. We're arranging to sweep up after you're gone. We're not in the clear yet. Get Sedano to the roof. Ingrid's waiting. Here. Your ride is just about here. A cargo truck that should get you through security and into LAX. I've arranged for a small distraction. If it comes together, it should open a small window of opportunity. You make my job too easy. Just respecting my elders. And if anybody sees you, you've lost your ride and the mission's over before it begins. You've always had a down for the obvious, Lambert. All right, Fisher. You're inside LAX. You're kidding. That was way too easy. Basically, we've got gaps in the armor. And you're not the only visitor that slipped through. Soth. And the last ND-133, and a handful of hired mercenaries disguised as LAX employees. I'd be willing to bet they're still fresh from a smallpox vaccination. So you may be able to ID them by their higher... Than... Great. I heard something Great. Great. You got anything on how they're communicating? Yeah. It's an ultra-wide-band local network, node-based. They've got ten members online, including Soth. Then we're looking at nine terrorists you're going to need to neutralize before you find Soth. If all of Soth's men have been vaccinated for smallpox within the last ten days, then it's a safe bet they're running a few degrees hotter. There's somebody there. Great work, Fisher.
Fisher, we have additional intel. It seems they I have two more terrorists who have infiltrated the waiting zone in the office area. Fisher, you cannot leave any terrorists behind. This will jeopardize the rest of I think I heard somebody. Too weird. Of course, ma'am. Of course. Good work, Fisher. That? that takes care of all but Soth's men. And the chatter looks like they're with Soth. We're nearly certain he's in the catwalks above passenger ticket. Who's that? I suggest we go for a short break. We have an indication where Soth could be. He seems to have entered the ticketing area just below you. Fisher, spot Soth in the area below using your thermal and binoculars. Okay, we've got him. Affirmative. He's carrying the last ND-133 box. Stopped. Thanks, Lambert. Soft's men cut the power from above. Cutting off potential interruptions. You need to get up there fast. If you can smash your way through the emergency exit, there's a crawl space that will let you up onto the catwalks. Get to it. We don't have much time. Incoming flights, we've discussed this. Right, right. What about our Midway and Vegas flights? I don't want to release until they're disembarked. Yes, but are you off the plane yet? minutes on the timer. Damn, damn, damn. That's five less than we were counting on. Even my Osprey, we couldn't get it safely out of LA city limits. We need something to seal it in. It would have to be reinforced steel to withstand the force of decompression. We'll evacuate the airport. That should keep casualties below a thousand. Fisher, maybe you can get low fast. If the box decompresses inside some kind of containment in the basement, we may be able to get casualties down to the dozens. I've got a better idea. 